With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is you are given two reactions here. H2O2 plus O3 giving H2O plus 2O2 and then H2O2 plus Ag2O gives 2 Ag plus H2O plus O2. You have to tell the role of hydrogen peroxide in these reactions. The role of peroxide uh, means whether it is an oxidizing agent or a reducing agent in these reactions is what we have to tell, right? So if you talk about the first reaction, we have H2O2, right? Plus we have O3. It gives you H2O plus 2O2, right? So what is happening here? <coughs> O3 is getting converted to H2. So what is happening? Addition of hydrogen, right? Addition of hydrogen is taking place in this case. Also, the oxidation number of oxygen is changing from 0 to minus 2, which means that the process of reduction is taking place here, right? So H2O2 is helping O3 to undergo reduction. Therefore, it acts as a reducing agent which means that it, it is itself getting oxidized because here oxygen is in the minus one oxidation state whereas in O2 it is in the zero oxidation state so the oxidation number is increasing which means that H2O2 itself is undergoing oxidation therefore it acts as a reducing agent so in the first case it acts as a reducing agent right now if you look at the other reaction now the other reaction is you have H2O2 right along with that we have ag2o along it gives you 2ag right along with h2o along with o2 right these are the products that we get so what is happening here in this case now in ag2o ag is in the plus one oxidation state oxygen is in the minus one ox minus two oxidation state now uh, when it is getting converted to ag your ag is in the zero oxidation state because it is in the elemental state so what is happening here reduction is taking place because the oxidation number is decreasing right reduction is taking place so as h2o2 is helping ag2o2 undergo reduction therefore it acts as a reducing agent again right it acts as a reducing agent again here and also it is undergoing oxidation because h2o2 is getting converted to o2 oxygen in minus one oxidation state oxygen in zero oxidation state so it is itself undergoing oxidation Therefore, it acts as a reducing agent. So, it acts as a reducing agent in the second case also, right? In the second case also, it acts as a reducing agent. Therefore, hydrogen peroxide in both of these reactions acts as a reducing agent. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.